And he's absolutely right. We're stepping into the big leagues. We're into Premier, and we've got TDs back here to take us away, to walk us through this series and kind of get us set up. So, TDs, the floor is yours. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, we're into the big leagues here. We're into Prem, but not just Prem. We're into the number two and the number three seed of Prem. The amazing A's coming in at the number two seed versus Bray Bombs, the 300, the three seed. So we got the best of the best, and we're here to show you an absolutely amazing final matchup. Let's take a look at these team stats here. So starting off, like I said, we got two of the, the higher seeded teams. We got the Amazing A's at seven and two with 39 goals for and only letting up 25. So they're an offensive powerhouse. And then on the other side of the coin, we got the Legion coming in at six and three. <clears throat> Again, the number three seed in Premier. No slouch whatsoever with 30 goals for, but only 19 goals against. So we'll see if we got a little bit more of an offensive powerhouse coming in with the A's versus a defensive brick wall from the 300 saves look pretty even saves against look pretty even and that shooting percentage goes slightly to the amazing a's as they are in fact the offensive team that's kind of what we would expect and i think this one's going to be a serious matchup and then we can take a look at the individual stats across the board for both of these teams Let's see what we got cooking here so both teams have only played two of their players. Uh, this is pretty common up in Premier with the how the MMR cap works. Excuse me. And so for the Amazing A's, we got it led by Fusion Bleach, a well-known name around RSC, coming in with 21 goals on just nine games played. And Famous, Skill are Famous, coming in with 18 goals on nine games played. Still no slouch, that's two goals a game. The assist pretty even there. And the shots a little lopsided towards Bleach, but the shooting percentage almost even as well. I mean, this is a two-man team. I'm going to expect to see a lot of passing plays here, similar to that uh, first first matchup we saw between Rage and Sweeper. And then looking at the 300, we got Gavalanche and Ghosty. Gavalanche coming in, both of them with 15 goals. Gavalanche with three more assists, 10 out to 7. And then shot count, we got 39 to 41, and the shooting percentage also pretty even there uh, so i'm looking forward to this this is going to be a great matchup i believe we are currently waiting on the players to join the lobby and once we get them in here we'll start this game up what do you got for predictions dds what do you think who's taking it oh man uh this is going to be close i i think i got faith in fusion bleach you know i think mm -hmm. he i think he brings this one home i think i believe it was mark who said that they won it last season in twos and then they're kind of trying to run it back, if I'm not mistaken. Or was that Bray Bomb with? I think that was Bray Bomb with Gavalanche, actually. So maybe, maybe I got the 300. Actually, I had those two. I had those two backed up. That's on me. I'm going 300. I think Gavalanche comes through, but Fusion Bleach will put up a match. It's tough when you're facing two teams and they're both so evenly matched, you know, and they both look so great. It's hard not to pick them both, right? <laughs> like, you know, you yeah. want you want to see, you know, the, the winner here is going to be the viewers. The winner here is going to be if we get a 2-1 and, and we have a close series and we have a lot of goals. So I, I like your pick on the 300. I, I'm also going to go with the 300. Uh, you know, I've picked Alphabet for the first two series, and I think we're, we're going to see them come out with a win here here from the legion i think they're, they're going to pull one back right at the end yeah we are currently waiting on the amazing ace to join the lobby gavalanche and ghost are in here just absolutely ready to go uh yeah i mean like you said it's going to be a great matchup you know we'd love to see a 2-1 i don't think we see a sweep here in either direction mm -hmm. and i mean you literally saw me flip-flop on stream who i thought was going to win so <laughs> That's how even it is. I mean, I'm, I'm. We just said it, and I. Part of me's thinking, you know, you had a good point on fusion. Maybe I want to go back. <laughs> hey, <laughs> open that door up. I'm going back. <laughs> the one thing I love about this this matchup here is both players are contributing. You don't see one person just putting the backpack on. Both teams, or all four players here, contributing to their team's success for the two and three seed. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because the Amazing A's, they have higher stats in almost every category, but that's not indicative of 
you know, just getting more wins, right? Because if you look at them, even though their stats are slightly higher, both players are committing the amount that is the same as their other teammate. And so you're right. We have an even match, and I think we're about to jump into the match here at DD. So yeah, here uh, we're we about go. to tune in. Let's see if the 300 can usurp the two seed or if the two seed in the Amazing Ace can maintain their lead. And off the rip, we got an air dribble from Ghosty coming in hot. Gavalanche can't quite make anything of it, but puts it on as we see these cars just flying through the air. That's it. Rolling you know, well. for the viewers here, this is a premier match. We're talking high level players in the high tiers of GC. This is no joke. They're coming in and we're going to see a lot of airplay here. Yeah, I was going to say, I believe everyone in this lobby is at least GC3. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks you know, like it. <laughs> to see this. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm already kind of lost. That was going on. Gavalanche trying to put something together. As Ghosty turns and takes that off of him. So far, a lot of... A lot going on here. As he goes for the flip reset, can't quite make anything come of it. Turns immediately on that thing, though. Yeah, what you're going to see a lot in this is just a transition of constant touches in the midfield, right? Because both teams, they're going to challenge at all times. Here's another challenge. Great shot, though. Wow. Ghosty gets the first goal on the board. Splotted that one top right. I mean, look at the control here. Doesn't panic. Pops it up. Gets it around one. As Gavalanche, I think, played a strong role in that as he bumped mm -hmm. uh, Famous across the front of the net. Yeah, you're right, TDs. He pushed them both into the corner, and then all of a sudden, Ghosty had, he had, like, all of the, the world to work with. The whole field was his for, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> and uh, he used every moment of that, and he got the goal, and we're up to 1-0. Yeah, I mean, he had all the time, but he still had a spot at the top right, because in this lobby, anybody can make any save with just the smallest amount of boost. That's it. Yeah, it's uh, every little boost counts. What you'll notice a lot in this is that everyone's going to be at that 50 boost marker often. They're going to try to hold it, and uh, it's going to be nonstop aerial action here. And we got a lot of pressure coming up this sidewall. Yeah, let's see if the 300 can find themselves their second goal of the night. Looks like they've been maintaining pressure pretty well here, but the amazing Ace trying to break through. Usually recovered good off that. He slipped off the sidewall, but he managed to make it down for a 50, and then he brings in another pop 50 in middle field. So he's holding line, but this is dangerous. We got a two-on-one, and it's a missed shot coming out from Gavalanche. And look at the trust they had in each other. In the comms, he went oh. up to take that ball from him in the air. I can't believe that's not a goal, and I can't believe this is costing them a goal. This was such a good demo and such a good play, and they just couldn't control the ball. That is really unfortunate coming out from the Amazing A's. Yeah, I mean, that's the the level of you know leeway you're going to have in these lobbies. An inch off causes you a goal for the other way. And no mistakes allowed, DDs. That's a fact. <laughs> no mistakes. This is going to be, in fact, a game of inches here. Every space, every boost pad... The pathing is incredibly important. It might not seem uh, as important to people who aren't as familiar with Rocket League, but I mean, I get yelled at by my coaches if I'm just two feet too far forward. <laughs> yeah, and Ghosty comes out there, slides up and covers his teammate. There's a lot of really good communication coming here from the Legion side. Um, the 300 has managed to constantly defend their backboard which has been about three or four potential goals coming off that. And here's another shot coming in. Great 50. It is still dangerous. I don't see getting the flip reset there. Don't think he found the flip, unfortunately. Yeah, the ball popped a little bit too far away from him to work with it. But he yeah. did get the flip reset, so we'll call it cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty much a style point. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, nice not bump. as valuable as a real goal. That's a fact, yeah. Oh, this is dangerous, but he pulls out another post. You know, one thing that they're going to have to figure out here on the Amazing A's side is they're hitting. This is the second time back this has back. happened. Yeah. They hit a post, they get the pressure, and then no one's back. It's like all in plays, and they're getting punished every time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like you said, I mean, that's just literally the same exact goal happened twice. Mm -hmm. An absolute great play by the Amazing A's and just a foot wide. And because of that, they get punished. Their second man just a little too far up to create that that pressure. That shot, it's a good shot, it's a good, great opportunity. But if you don't tuck it away, I mean, they're gonna punish you. 
Yeah, and coming into this, you have to wonder if there's a little more pressure on uh, the Legion side here with the 300 because both their other teams have lost and some in not such a good fashion, right? And now they're coming in and they have to come in for their franchise. And so far in game one, I think that we can call this a dominating performance. They've really had a lot of the control of these plays and they've taken advantage of all the mistakes given to them. Yeah, as Gavalanche almost just cooked up something special in that corner. <laughs> I thought he had it lost, and then he flipped randomly. I was like, oh, I guess he got a flip reset somewhere yeah. in there that I missed. Somewhere when we weren't looking, he put a chef's <laughs> hat on, he took out the spatula, and he got to work, because that man has been cooking all game. That man got his utensils out and ready. <laughs> but yeah, it has been a, a pretty solid performance from 300. I don't know if I'd go as far as say dominating. I mean, two of their goals are just counterattacks, but... Definitely had a lot of offense pressure here. Yeah, Definitely that's a good point like for sure. It, it's, <laughs> it's tough because it almost feels like every time that uh, the amazing A's get an opportunity, it's like that. Like, it's just Speaking of another nothing's bar. going in. Yeah, I mean, the way these guys are frequently in the bar, you know, got to be careful. <laughs> Don't go driving tonight is all <laughs> Exactly. Saying, you guys are at another ghosty goal. The nail in the coffin away, and that's a 4 0 lead for the 300, and I think that's gonna solidify game one. Just the control, the precision, the finesse. I mean, Dr. Disrespect somewhere is getting nervous because all Ghosty has right now is violent speed and momentum. He's taking the ball, he's demoing, he's pushing. He's been the star player right now for game one, and it's showing. Yeah, I mean, absolute composure. Both Ghosty and Gavalanche, again, putting up two goals apiece. Like we stated at the beginning, I mean, this is going to be... There wasn't going to be a carry, right? Both of them contributing mm -hmm. equally. Both of them doing well. And absolutely exploiting the Amazing A's mistakes. Uh, the exploiting is the right word. It felt like a game of counterattack where, you know, any pressure the Amazing A's would put on, immediately they were punished for it. Immediately they were downfield. And it shows. I mean, the score is 4-0 for a reason. Yeah. Uh, Amazing A's coming in with five shots. I think all five of those were hitting the bar. I mean, excellent opportunities. You just got to finish, right? You can't mm -hmm. can't win any games if you're shooting 0%. Zero for yeah, five, just, you can't that's win, That's a good point, Aviz. You got, you got them there. If, if you do not score, it is too bad for you. <laughs> uh, to the chat, I am a coach. That's your first free tip. The next one's going to cost you. DM me for inquiries. You got to score more goals than the other team. That's true. That's true. There, there's something about putting the ball not on the post. That, that That's a recipe for winning. And where, you know, the other team had all the chefs, you know, we, we didn't get anything coming out of Amazing A's. So I think they're going to retool. They're going to reboot. They're going to take account of, you know, the mistakes. I think we might see a little bit more of a defensive performance coming out from the Amazing A's because they slipped a lot of open nets that match. I mean, you just change those two goals, right? Instead of being mm -hmm. an, a foot wide, if they're in, if that's a 2-2 ball game. And that's yeah. So we'll see. They took their time there. They they definitely talked about what they had to do. And let's see if they can implement that game plan. Yeah, especially that first. Uh, we said they had back-to-back -back plays where they came down and they demoed the goalie, but they lost control of the ball. And it's like that shot, right? You have a game if that goes in. But we are back into the second game. You are right. And we're starting off spicy. Yeah. And it looks like the 300 are picking up right where they left off, trying to get some pressure here. Gavalanche putting that one in the corner. As Ghosty following up, though, can't quite get a touch. Gavalanche playing this back and gets punished. Now the Amazing A's exploiting the 300's mistakes. That is unfortunate. Gavalanche had a chance here to control this ball a little bit cleaner, but he kind of panicked because the first guy was up and he passed it right across to Fusion. And Fusion isn't going to miss those. Like you were saying in the opening uh, show before we started the match, Fusion is an absolute all-star, and you give him the ball like that, he's hitting it 10 out of 10 times. Yeah, a, a rare whiff from Ghosty. We're not going to see a lot of those in the lobby, and uh, I mean, the Ooh. name of this game is Exploiting Weaknesses, and Ghosty turns around and makes it up. Gets himself the goal as they found themselves on 2-1-1. On Fusion asking for help. Famous just a little late to that. 
Yeah, the only sad thing here is in the replay, we didn't see the pinch because they pinch past it as a team into the corner. Then he slotted it back off, and then they got a free open net on the corner there. It was a great team play from both of them, and it just speaks volumes to what you were saying and probably why you're such a, a good coach, right? You can see when teammates are playing, and you can see when they're working together, and, and you know, all game, Ghosty and Gavalanche have just been connected. Yeah, uh, excellent save there by Ghosty with zero Ooh. boost. Takes that off the back wall. Almost a little squishy action there. It just stops stops the easy one. Yeah, it's impressive that he did like the sideways squishy because that's incredibly that's hard harder. mechanically yeah. to do. He came off sideways and that. slid out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They know what they're doing out here. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Yeah, it certainly is. I love, love watching high league or high level Rocket League. You know, it's... It's nice watching the contender people play. It's nice watching the rival people play. But this, there's something about this. The way they can control the ball, the way they can control their cars. Nothing's an accident. You know? That always amazed me watching the pros. They controlled it. They do something. Whereas if that happened to me in my game, it was 100% not on purpose. Unbelievable by Fusion here. This is such a clean catch. He lifts it up to fake and bait Ghosty out further, and then he says, no, I'm going to do it one more time. And then there's no chance here for Gavalanche to make a save. That's just a fantastic play from Fusion. Yeah, that was absolute class for Fusion Bleach with that little air, with the ground dribble. Like to see the ground game getting some respect in these lobbies. Yeah, 100%. And this is the first time they've had a lead here where they're looking pretty good. I mean, we have a match, although it might turn real quick. Oh, Ghosty, no! He missed the open net. That is unfortunate. Another untimely whiff by Ghosty. But I think last time he answered and scored a goal pretty quickly. Let's see if he can redeem himself. Yeah, I feel like that's not going to be an issue for Ghosty, especially when we watch that first match and then this one here. He's making a couple of mistakes, but at the end of the day, as everybody knows, Premier players are still human. It might seem not so much, but they are. <laughs> and they hit balls, but they do miss them at times. And we have a dangerous play here. Gavalanche really needs a good read off this, and he gets it. He gets it, yeah. That was that was clinical. Read that, You're let it go past little... him off the back wall. And again, look at the trust between the two. He knew Ghosty was coming. Didn't worry about it. Ghosty gets the flip reset. Almost redeems himself right there. He's trying. Great touch by Gavalanche. Ghosty, you got to get... No! <laughs> good try. Good try, boys. That's a little An bit excellent effort. <laughs> Unlucky. A little bit of panic there from the 300. I think they aren't used to being down, as they had a commanding lead the entirety of last game. Let's see if they can keep their composure. Still plenty of time left. It's still a one-goal game. This isn't anyone... Oh, absolutely. Especially in twos. When we're talking about this, I mean, you're scoring a lot of goals. A 2-1 game's a little bit of an, uh, uh, you know, uh, abnormality as, as far as I'm concerned. And I think it's likely we're going to see a couple more goals before the end of this match. I would agree, and I would be shocked if this game ends 2-1. And we might get our first one here. Great 50 from Gavalanche. Taking that low 50 and basically saying, look, you're not pushing the ball through me. I don't care what's going on, and uh, it pulls out for them. And now they're moving downfield, and Ghosty's got some pressure. Yeah, uh, excellent pressure, excellent counterattack. They're trying to get something to work here. Gavalanche puts this one high. It's an easy double. No one's there. And Gavalanche ties this one up. What a play. And honestly, TDs, Ghosty gets a double demo. When do you see that? He takes out both defenders. And, you know, what's Gavalanche going to do? Not score right? He dominates on that backboard, just like Ghosty put both players in the board. So he's like, get out of here. Go home. Yeah, stuff doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but it's incredibly important when it works out. Those demos and when it doesn't huge. work out, we all cry a little bit inside. <laughs> As Ghosty goes for a musty flick. Put a little mustard on that one. Gavalanche playing solid defense on the shadow. Let's see if he can counter here. He's got the other team on the ropes. Gets it around. Fusion. Famous. Got, got, got that one to the corner. Ghosty keeping pressure, though. Let's see if he can cook something here. Yeah, one thing Gavalanche has been fantastic with, and we're seeing it here again, his shadow defense and his timing, especially on the sidewall, has been second to none in this series. He's been the best defensive player on the field by far. Yeah, for sure. He's definitely had some quality shadows, some quality reads off that backboard like you were mentioning. Let's see if he can do it again, and he does. 
gets that one out to his teammate. And he That's comes key. back and bails Ghosty out. I mean, Gavalanche is everywhere on this field right now, and we might be going to OT TDs. It looks like we're going to get an OT in game two unless the 300 can pull it out, and they cannot. So we got ourselves the first overtime game for the Premier Tier. And this Definitely. is an important match for sure. Yeah, whatever they were saying in that pregame huddle after the first match worked, the Amazing A's have rebounded and are showing them, or showing the chat, why they're the number two seed in Premier right now. That's it, and the 300's got their whole franchise on their back with a great flick shot there from Gavalanche, turning upside down and slotting that. It's a shame it didn't go in, but the 300's got a lot of weight on their shoulders right now. They're basically playing for the honor of their franchise. They're saying, look, we're the second best team right now, and we're going to make an argument that we're the first best team here in Premier. But we do have the OT goal, and we're 1-1 tied. Yep, Fusion Bleach coming through. He heard you talking about his defense prowess. He said, I can do it on offense, too. Give me that goal. Give me that game. A hat trick. Toss up the hat emojis. Fusion Bleach putting up 800 points. I got to tell you, Denise, I think I may again have the caster curse because the <laughs> moment that I make a comment, I'm telling you, they score right after. And that is incredibly unfortunate for 300. But the amazing A's, they're showing like they're saying, hey, first game anomaly 4-0 ain't happening again. They come back and pull an OT and fusion. Just like you were saying, um, you know, he's been yeah. an all star. Uh, excellent. Uh, it looks like we might be having a field switch. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but it looks like the players have left the lobby. Uh, well, we'll see. We got ourselves a great series, one to one. Wait, yeah. on. We had an 800 point from Fusion. You you had uh, you had him hyped up to the the ninth degree coming in, and it's showing. Even in the first match, he was all over the field. But this one, you know, he had three goals, four shots, three saves. Um, you know, he put on a performance there, and, and he really carried his team to victory. Yeah. I mean, we've seen these teams be complementary of each other. Uh, the stats showed that, you know, everybody everybody contributes to the Ws, but Fusion Bleach really took over that game. He did not want to get swept. Yeah, he couldn't miss. Like, his shots, uh, his accuracy, I think we were shooting at a 75%. I mean, he was all over the place. And welcome back in for the final match for this evening. Thank you again to all the viewers who came out. We couldn't appreciate you anymore, and, but we're going to try anyway, and hopefully we can run more of these. But we have a first goal with Ghosty. He takes oh over. Oh, my God. What a shot. What an air dribble. Look at the control there. Never loses it. He's got that ball tied to him on a string. He has the rumble power up, and he just puts that one away for a goal in the first six seconds. And the best part of it to these is he knew the 50 was coming. He let go of the ball, and he angled his car so that there was not a chance it was coming out. Just an outstanding individual performance there from Ghosty. It's great to see him play that way. Let's see if Gavalanche can do the same thing with a flip reset. Almost finds the back of the net. Did, when the lobby was switching to these, did we get freestylers in here? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, they, uh, the 300 is coming out hot. Fusion Bleach putting this one on target, but Ghosty there to make sure they maintain their one goal lead. A little bit of miscommunication there, but Ghosty bails them out. Good touch off the wall by Fusion because that ball could have been quite lethal for them if he didn't get that second touch into the corner. Yeah, uh, quality, quality heads up play to put that ball into a safe spot. Yeah, one of the most underrated things I think to these is the idea of putting the ball in empty spaces. I mean, you're talking about a position where you've got two enemies right beside you. And look at this pass. Fusion's going, but we might have a turnaround here. But Fusion just too much control. But yeah, his play and his positioning, like here, he could have touched that ball. But he said, nope, it's too dangerous. And he controls it. Fusion's just been playing out of his mind to these. Yeah, it's an excellent point. It's the control. It's the composure. It's not just passing this ball to the other team, you know. Uh, it's a lot of things you see in lower tiers is they just panic and they just bang the ball because they're scared of a threat that's just not there. And a great fake coming out here uh, that left Fusion an opportunity to take a shot on that ball. Uh, Scalar was coming up on the side and he literally just left and faked the 50, giving a full free ball to Fusion. So their communication's on point right now. Yeah, it's 
solid game so far. 1-0. You would expect maybe a couple more goals in the first two minutes, but the defensive showing here from both teams as Fusion chases a demo and hears me talking about it. Famous. <laughs> ties it up and puts away another one. He heard the expectation loud and clear, and he said, look, I know you want to go for the pad that's squishy, but uh, Ghosty, get off the back because we're getting a free <laughs> goal here. And that's solid presence for Fusion to get, get out in front, make the goalie awkward, and let his teammate, trust his teammates, put that one away. And that's what had, didn't happen first game, is they did that exact same play, but they would miss, and then they would get counterattacked. Yeah, the, the demos, especially as you get higher in the ranks, you're talking GC1, GC2, if you're putting a two-on-one, expect a demo nearly 100% of the time because it's just a nearly impossible play to stop. And uh, they, they kind of didn't have it going for them in the first game, but this game, immediately they capitalized on the first opportunity given to them. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, you can't fault them. They were a foot off the first game. I mean, <laughs> literally two feet of space changes that to a 2-2 game over time like we had in game two. A hundred percent I agree with that and I think that this series is getting threatening and you know we're saying that there should be some more goals here but it's tough there's a lot of defensive plays coming out a lot of safe plays here from the uh, the 300 is holding but we might uh, we might see this game stretch into OT to these. Yeah uh, Ghosty doing everything in his power to stop the other team from scoring as is Fusion. Fusion keeps that one out. What a play. A little worried there as him and Ghosty both went up and neither of them came down with the ball. Yeah, you were talking about composure earlier and Fusion literally stopped his car even though the ball was going into his net and knew that he had to just slowly take control of that ball and get it off to the side and that he had time. He didn't rush it and jump past it. It was a fan. What a shot though by Gavalanche. He oh, says screw goodness. it. We don't care. We're getting a goal here anyway. <laughs> A great pass from Ghosty and Gavalanche just up faster than anyone else in the lobby. Puts that top right. Unsavable ball. What a shot. What a shot Absolutely indeed. clinical. And, and Ghosty oh. coming out. Keeps the pressure on. Gives his team the 3-1 lead with a minute 30 left. Ooh, this is going to be a hard comeback here to these. I don't know. A 3-1, you're looking at a minute 30. It's doable, but... We're looking at 45 seconds a goal. They they've got to push the they've got to go all in. I wouldn't be surprised if they did a Spanish here and tried something different. Get but the they don't demo go for around it. it. Yeah. However, they still walk away with the goal, Spanish or not. The kickoff goal is what this amazing A's team needs. Great placement by Famous again, just a little wide, but bleach there. Gets it around the last defender is really all you need. Let your teammate clean it up. Well done. Yeah, it almost reminded me of when you get someone to trip over their feet in basketball. I mean, he came up, he stopped the ball, which forced Gavalanche to stop moving. And then he shot it off that post, and he basically tripped him up on that play. And it was just great. But here's that demo again. Demo and play. Free. I mean, I said 45 seconds. They barely needed 20. Yeah, I was going to say, I think they heard you, and they accepted that challenge. Well done. Famous controls that, gets it under the guy once he sees his teammate forces the jump. Doesn't get the demo, but keeps composure, finds the empty spot, and gets the goal. Yeah, you're right. He didn't get the demo, but what he did do was he forced him so he had to jump, and then his teammate just said, okay, I'll just take a low 50, whatever happens here, and he didn't even have to take the low 50 because the positioning was so good. Yep. Like you said, he, he looked for that low 50, but didn't even need it. That's another thing. If you're new to Rocket League and you're going for those demo plays, don't jump at him. Drive straight at him. Make them jump. You either That's get the it. demo or you force them off. And hopefully your teammate knows that and he doesn't try to flick it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's always the hope. Great flip reset oh, here, but he couldn't can go control for a it. a little bit of spice there in the kitchen. Famous That's a nice touch off the side spot, wall. Yeah. Skill Let's comes see. in and he holds it, but, you know, they're going to come out. We've got a potential here for Fusion to get a flick off. Does he hit the moxie? Not quite, but it's a nice flick anyway. Yeah, he got it around one. He's putting the 300 on their back foot. Famous with a good turn on that. Unfortunate 50, though, for him. Really responsible oh, play there from Fusion to these. He he saw an opportunity to stop and, and play that ball, but he said, look, there's 10 seconds left. We worked our asses off to come back in this game. I'm going to go back and guard the net. And what do we have here? Oh, oh. No. Almost finds a way to end this. 
But and we're, we're in overtime, team. second overtime of the series. This is what we wanted. This is the number two seed Amazing Ace playing against the number three seed 300. And we got ourselves one heck of a series here as we see overtime in game three. What are you thinking here? Who's going to take it? If, if uh, the 300 win, they save face for the franchise. They hold the line. They get a respectable 2-1. You know, if the Amazing A's take it, we're looking at a 3-0 sweep. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with my original assumption here. I think I got the 300. I think they, they keep it composed. But, you know, I don't like betting against Fusion. But we'll see. <laughs> what about you, Gecko? Who you got? You got walking feeling, away. No, I'm feeling the same way. I think the, the dangerous thing here for the 300 is the momentum is entirely, in my opinion, in Fusion's hands and, and in the Amazing A's. And they might have something here even. But if they can just get a couple of minutes here to calm down, if they can just get this game to stretch out, I think the longer this game goes on, the more the 300 is going to take it. Yeah, I uh, have to agree with that assumption. But Fusion please trying to prove us both wrong. As Famous keeps this one in, but Ghosty gets a solid 50 here, and we got a little bit of a counter. Nope, Leech bangs that one right back into his offensive side of the field. Oh, and the Amazing Oh, Ace. no. They walk Please. away with it. We were wrong. They cast their curse. <laughs> Fusion Bleach hurt us. Killer Famous hurt us. They said, no, sir. The Amazing A's are the two seed for a reason. We're walking away with this series. What a game. All you could ask for from a viewer standpoint, two overtimes. Game one was a 4-0, but did not reflect the scoreline. What a solid performance from all four of these guys. Yeah, and it's a tough one to give up there at the end. Like, if you look at the stats here, they had the saves, they had the shots, they had the goals. And the 300, they shouldn't put their heads down here. That was a hell of a series. Um, it was really, like we were saying from the beginning, a game of inches. And one slippery touch there at the end that, that let the pressure kind of build. And all of a sudden, it's an OT goal coming in for the Amazing A's. And, you know, more credit to them. And more credit to their uh, organization here. You know, thank you very much for participating participating in franchise fight night and we're happy you both came out and it looks like alphabet really you know they they put their foot down and said we're taking three tonight yeah uh the amazing a's the daring d's was it and the glorious yep. d's All yeah their names you gotta out. love them right <laughs> yeah i love i love the franchise i love i love how mark put that one together it's quality mm -hmm. it's original it has it i think we're gonna have skiller famous come in here and talk to us real quick about what happened there. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be interesting to hear how they felt, especially after the first game. Um, and, you know, what they were thinking as they went into game two and three. Yeah. Uh, let us see what's happening. I think we're going to get both Famous and Fusion and Mark. Oh, boy. We got their, the whole team coming their in. Their cam work here. Yeah. We're going to have... Solid interview. Get their perspectives. I mean, these people in the Rocket League, right? Mm -hmm. They're GC3 SSL borderline. I'm excited to see their takeaways on this. I think the biggest difference here was those demo plays. Hello. Hello? Did you hear the the ghost hello? Uh, yeah, I, I heard that ghost hello. <laughs> we had a little. We had a little spooky, uh, maybe there's a ghost behind me. You know, they're, they're cursing us for messing up the prediction on that final game. Yeah, that's unlucky. But like I was saying, I think the difference there was the those demo plays. In game one, I mean, they just missed it by a foot. I mean, it was there. Uh, the opportunities were there. And then games two and game three, Fusion and, and Famous, they really talked. And they said, hey, we're sticking to our game plan. We're going to do what works. Uh, we inches away from winning that first game even though the score was 4-0 i promise you that stat line did not reflect that game and here they are we got the whole team we got fusion famous yeah. and their gm mark in here how are y'all doing how are you feeling <laughs> gotta be nice getting that 2-1 victory it was a sweater it was a real sweater uh i can't yeah, lie yeah that's to put it mildly i think yeah the Great demo team. goals i think that's the definition of a sweat goal Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does never happen. No, it was all double tap. No, no actual demo occurred, so it's not. That's a demo true. Goal. That's true. Very fair. A bump so, goal, if you will, then. 
no shame in a demo or a bump goal and you guys executed them especially you guys had you know the the audacity to do it after the first game where you had a fantastic two-on-one demo <laughs> and then the ball went off the post and went into your net how were you guys feeling after that first game and you had a couple of breakaways turn around on you um smurf said my bad i said no problem we uh <laughs> then went like nil and four in that game uh it mm -hmm. was not a good game we made adjustments so they wouldn't get many 1v1 opportunities or as mm -hmm. many at least um and then we won two in ot so yeah yeah uh, absolute thriller games I like the, the the composure. You know, you knew what you had was gonna work. Slight mistakes, you apologized, you moved on, and you clutched it up. Well done. And Let's what do go. you guys think about how well your franchise did? So I know we're talking about your games and we're talking about this right now, but you guys just swept a three zero in the the first franchise fight night in the twos league. How are you three feeling? Smart, if you can take this one. Mine? Uh, did we all won? No, everybody we, we won. Did, we did lose uh, contender. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> hey, look at that! I got it wrong. <laughs> well, you went two one. How are you feeling? Uh, I mean, we spent like a lot of time drafting people. Me and Mark, like, I, I was literally physically exhausted after the draft. So, I mean, we better be dominating. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, y'all were second in the standings, I believe, for overall franchises. And I think after tonight and this Thursday, y'all might just move up. Mm -hmm. It was Let's close. Go. Mark, you feeling confident in this Prem team moving forward? I think you were the second seed overall. I mean, Prem yeah. is totally open. Anyone can pop off at any time. Yeah, I mean, How like, you uh, like I said earlier, uh, I, I trust these guys. So <laughs> really <It's> shouldn't. Just... <laughs> uh... um, I mean, maybe. Nah, it's fine. I, I I fully trust them. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, those were some intense games, but they pulled through. Uh, I'm proud of these boys. Yeah, well done. All across, Mark, you got a lot to be proud of. Shout out to Braybomb, too. I mean, his franchise put up one hell of a fight. They did not make it easy for the ABCs, and they walked away with the contender victory, 2-1. But uh, two solid franchises, you know. I want to give another shout-out to both of those GMs. Mark, thank you so much. Bray, thank you so much. Both of y'all worked with me. This is the inaugural fight night. Couldn't have done this without y'all. No, thank you. I mean, media organizing this was great. Uh, a lot of people had fun in stream. I mean, this 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 uh, whole concept was goaded, if yeah, I we're say looking... so. Looking forward to doing it next week, you know. I think we have, hopefully, Cryptic coming in. I think he has that bye week. And then I want to say I reached out to DFAT as well. Waiting to hear back. But uh, appreciate y'all showing up. Any closing comments you want to have, Fusion? Famous? Uh, Smurf is bad. Vlad is better. <laughs> are, are you guys taking the cup this year? Um. Oh, well, every time I say I'm taking the cup, I don't. <laughs> and then every time I don't say I'm taking the cup, I do. So, no. No good cup. Good man. Here. Good man. No cup, and then you get it. I like it. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate you all two coming out, Mark. Appreciate you always. Y'all have a good night. Good night. See you guys. guys. See ya. This will move on to next week. I'll give a little bit of a rundown of what we do, what we're going to expect. So, like I said, I reached out to Cryptic. I think he's on board for the most part, waiting on DFAT to get back. If we can get those tiers to line up, we'll be doing this again next Tuesday, kicking off 8 p.m. Eastern. We will start with updated franchise standing, so you'll all have an idea of how the nine franchises and twos are running. Then we'll get back to those GM interviews. We'll see all of, hopefully, every franchise is down to do this. Hopefully, all the GMs are excited. We can get them all interviewed on. You can see the faces of the league. We can get those post-game interviews, give the players an opportunity to come speak to everybody. You know, it's always nice when you play on stream to have some words that you want to talk about. You know, you're you're in that voice chat with your boys, with, with your squad, and you're talking about it. You're hyping up goals you scored. But now you get to do that on stream in front of 40, 50, 60 people. 
and hopefully we can get this this audience up a little bit. You know, I'm I'm definitely happy with the numbers we had. Shout out to chat. Shout out to the GM showing up. Shout out to my boy Rob, the goat. Uh, but I think that's everything from me, Gecko. You got any closing remarks? Uh, no, I just want to echo the last one. You know, over the years, I've done a couple of events here and there, and just having a dedicated community of people that come out and they enjoy all the tiers of Rocket League. I mean, they're they're here for the full experience and watching the numbers go up. At one point, I think we hit around 65, 70, which, you know, for a stream, for a league that's just starting a new idea, just thank you so much for coming out, guys. And, and thanks for, you know, listening to, to me botch up the winnings at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I I appreciate all of you guys and and i appreciate all the work vigil and today's made into this and, and so just thank you everybody and looking forward to doing more of these and going forward i think these will be a lot smoother you know this was the inaugural inaugural franchise mm -hmm. fight night we're still learning some things still getting some timing down so next week be ready we got it coming back we got more for you we will be better guarantee it and shout out to vigil man works hard he put this whole thing together that's it. Thanks, Vigil. And uh, I suppose in some sense, that's a toodle do from us. <laughs> that is. <laughs> we will close off with that. Everybody in chat, have a good night. And good luck to those who are going to play Thursday. <laughs>